Hey everyone, this is Roger Lee speaking. Welcome to my first podcast. I am super excited. Uh, this is uh, one of the things that I really wanted to do. Most of the things that I have been doing, uh, if you if you don't know me, uh, most of you probably do know me from my Facebook page. Uh, maybe you've followed me in uh, from my Instagram, but if it is your first time listening to me, or if you ever heard about me or about my quotes. Um, this is what I do. I write quotes, um, and today I'm going to actually talk about, uh, you know, my journey, uh, how it came to be where I actually started writing quotes. Um, and it, it has been a very difficult journey. Uh, I learned a lot about life. I learned a lot of things about myself. And, you know, everything started um, a, about six years ago, actually. Um, it uh happened on March 23rd, 2016. So if you have been following me, you, you pretty much know uh, what I actually went through. But if this is the first time you've actually connected with me, then you're going to find out a little bit more about, you know, what happened to me prior to me writing quotes and why I do what I do. And it's something that I love to do. Um, and, you know, sometimes in life, you just don't know exactly what's going to happen to you, right? Sometimes life is going to throw you a couple of surprises. So, you know, six years ago, my life was completely different. Um, and a lot of things has, has happened during that time, you know, um, and life threw me something unexpected. You know, it was just something I never really thought would ever happen to me, but you know, it changed my life completely. So, you know, it, it on March 23rd, 2016, we had this, uh, really rare, um, ice storm that happened, right? So spring was actually, um, about a month away almost, right? And I was so, I was super, super excited that, uh, you know, spring was coming, you know, I, I just, I've been working out a lot. I was excited about taking my family out to, to do a lot of things. Um, but on this one specific day, we had this really, really, like I said earlier, you know, this, this, this ice storm that happened, um, like it happens, but it, th this one was a very special one because it basically at the end of it, uh, pretty much looked like winter, like in the middle of winter, you know, and winter was actually just ending. So, um, but it all started, um, I'm not going to get too much into it because there is a lot that happened, uh, during that day. But basically what happened was, um, you know, I was looking, I was looking for a babysitter for my, for my, for my kids. And at that, that time, my youngest son was, um, five years old. Uh, so I didn't want to leave them at home because I had to drive my daughter to a friend's place. So I called my niece. Uh, she was available and she came over and she uh, came over to babysit my kids. Uh, but she ended up actually staying up, staying at my place for the, the entire day uh, because, um, you know, we, we ended up watching a movie. Um, so at the end of the movie, you know, from from the from the morning to, to evening, you know, it was raining uh, and it was like really really cold outside right so if you looked outside all you saw was like ice like everywhere you couldn't even like walk a foot without actually you know feeling that you're gonna slip right so um we we just finished watching a movie uh at home and it was nighttime and um i went outside just to get some fresh air um but i had forgotten that um you know i didn't put on my boots or anything right because I, I wasn't intending to really step outside really until i looked back um inside the house and I saw my niece getting prepared, right? Cause I had to drive, uh, I wanted to drive her home. I didn't want her to walk home. She only lived like a block away. But, um, you know, I opened the door and I said, hey, Michaela, do you, do you want to uh, get a lift home? She's like, okay. So, you know, the first thing I did was I just ran to the car um, because I, I, I guess it just had a habit. I completely forgot that it was actually <laughs> icy outside. So the next thing I knew I was on the ground. Uh, at first I saw pure white. Right. I, I just saw pure white. Um, and um, the next thing I knew, I, I opened my eyes. I, I heard these voices saying, you know, Roger, Roger, are you OK? Are you OK? Um, and I opened my eyes and, and all I saw was the sky. Right. So I was basically, you know, flat down, lying flat on, the, on, the, on my back um, and I hit my head. Um, uh, my niece actually told me later that it was actually a pretty bad fall because I actually at the, the, the edge of the concrete step, the back of my head actually hit that, you know, um, and I was unconscious for about two minutes, they were saying. So I got up, uh, hope, hoping that, 
you know, I didn't have any internal damage, internal bleeding or anything, right? So, you know, my wife was telling me, like, you know, maybe you should go to the hospital, check it out, um, see if you're okay. But, uh, you know, I, I was telling myself, you know, I think I'm going to be okay. You know, I don't feel much pain. I'm not bleeding. I can see. Um, and I just wanted to wait it out. And, uh, so I didn't go, I didn't go to the, I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't go to emergency and cause I just wanted to wait, uh, to see if this pain would go, I mean, if any of this would just go away like in the next week or something. Right. So, um, the only thing I had at the beginning of that time was just a little bit of pain in the back of my head. Um, but other than that, I didn't have any dizziness or anything like that, any vertigo. I, I, um, there was, there was no blood or anything. So, um, you know, I waited and waited and, uh, in about two weeks, I actually stopped working out and all that stuff because I knew that it wouldn't be, wouldn't have been a great idea to actually start working out, you know, after having a concussion. So, but after two weeks, I thought I was okay, you know, so I wanted to start doing my regular things again and I started working out and, um, that one night I, you know, I worked out and I had my protein shake. I went outside and all of a sudden I had this like sensation like this, you know, when your leg falls asleep, that sensation, uh, was on the side on the, almost the entire side of my, on my left, left side of my head and, and near my cheek, my cheek area. Right. And that got me so scared, um, because I never really had that feeling before. You know, I've had that sensation on my arms and my legs, but never, never really on my head. And, you know, I started to get really scared. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe it would go away. It would, it would go away. Uh, cause usually it does, that happens, you know, like whenever something falls asleep, you know, it, it'll go away. So I waited and waited and this thing lasted for, I can't even remember how long. Right. And, you know, I started, I could start feeling a little bit of anxiousness. And I was scared cause I thought this was going to be a, a, a permanent thing. Um, so, um, you know, I, I was looking for someone to actually try to help me with this, um, because, um, I didn't want it to get any worse. It wasn't going away. Um, so I went to see a chiropractor and, you know, he was the first person, Dr. John Saunders, he was the first person to actually give me some hope because he was telling me after, um, I went in for my assessment, he told me that, you know, Roger, don't worry about it. You know, um, you, ha you did damage, uh, I think it was my C2, my C3 vertebrae. Um, but he said that, uh, with proper adjustments, uh, that he would be able to get me back to normal and that, that sensation would, would eventually go away and he'd get me back to a hundred percent. And I was just like, wow, that's amazing. You know? So, um, I, 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 and he told me that it was going to take a year and I was like, you know, whatever it takes, you know, I just want to, I just want to get back to normal. And, you know, I was seeing him, you know, like twice a week. Um, but this sensation was just one of those things that, you know, I couldn't control, but feel that this is not going to go away no matter what, you know? And, you know, every single day that passed, I just kept getting more anxious and anxious. And all of a sudden, you know, one day I got so angry that I hit the top of this chair. And because, um, my sensation, my, my, my symptoms and everything, and because of my spine and everything, uh, I was very sensitive, right? So when I hit that chair, something happened. Like, um, I explained it before on my Facebook page, um, that, you know, it's like when you take a glow stick and you snap it, you know, I had that chemical reaction in my brain and, and I knew right away that something was wrong. Something was going on in my head. Uh, and I, com I knew I could completely feel that there was a difference prior to me, like hitting that chair. Um, and that's when my anxiety got really bad. Right. Um, and this carried on for like months because I had to go through, um, my symptoms. Um, I was, I couldn't sleep. Um, I noticed myself, um, uh, more getting depressed. You know, I, w I was starting to feel I was losing myself. Like I, I, I wasn't in control anymore. Um, with, with my emotions, I wasn't in control of my thoughts. Um, you know, cause anxiety is just going to create this, this crazy world inside your mind. And you, and, and especially when it's your first time and it's, and it, for me, it was, I didn't know what to expect from it. I didn't know how long it was going to last. I, my, I, you know, my, I started to see myself as someone that, um, was non-curable, right. That I, that I mean, I'm, and I, and every single day, you know, as I was starting to think more negative, you know, I could see my life 
deteriorating in front of my eyes. You know, not just myself, but my family, the people surrounding me. They, you know, everything was changing. You know, we used to be, at that time, before my accident, you know, we laughed a lot and, and, you know, we'd always get together and do, you know, fun things and stuff. But, you know, the sadder I became, the farther away my family it seemed because I was actually, it wasn't their fault. I was, I was literally ch- pushing myself away from them because I was so angry at myself. Um, and I was so embarrassed. Um, and I felt so weak. You know, I, I, I felt that, um, there was nothing more to look forward to because I was so focused on, you know, these negative thoughts telling me that, uh, you know, my life was bad. Um, and that, you know, that I'm, that I'm weak and that, um, you know, that uh, like every single day is just going to be a very, very dark day, you know. And the more I thought of that, the more darkness I thought, the darker my life became. Um, and then I finally hit rock bottom. You know, I hit rock bottom. Um, and, you know, eventually I had to start taking medication. And I'm a guy that hates taking medication. You know, ever since I was a kid, I never wanted to take pills or even vitamins or even... <laughs> go see the doctor but you know I had to take it you know I couldn't breathe my anxiety got so bad that I started getting panic attacks um and uh I definitely couldn't sleep you know and anybody that's going through anxiety or depression you know you might be feeling that too you know you 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 can't go to sleep or even when you wake up you just don't want to do anything you just want to stay in bed and because you just don't have that positive mindset anymore because their negative thoughts has basically devoured and taken away all your happiness, right? Um, and so you just you, you just don't want to continue on. And that's what I was feeling. You know, I didn't even want to wake up at days. You know, I just wanted to sleep. Not even yet. Yeah, every single day it wasn't didn't even seem like twenty four hours. Every single day seemed like a week, and a month. You know, so you know I had to start um, figuring a way how to change my life because I uh, you know my kids stopped talking to me. I started getting to incre- huge arguments with my wife. But there was one thing, you know, my mother was there for me. Um, she was there for me, like, honestly, 24-7. She, she would make sure I would go to bed, uh, f- fall asleep before she left my house, you know. Because before that, I used to take my kids. I used to wake up early in the morning, prepare the, my lunch, the lunch for my kids. I would go and uh, pick them up from school, and I would do all those things, right? But I stopped doing it. And my wife was working so much that, you know, the only person that can actually take over my job was my mother. And she came, you know, she she was there every single day and she did, she basically replaced me, right? At the same time, she was trying to take care of me. So, you know, I'm so blessed to have her as my mother. She she was my rock during that time and she really, she never gave up on me, you know. Um, so this just kept going on and um, I, I really wanted to figure out a way, right, to try to heal myself. Because I saw that my family was falling apart and I wanted to somehow mend things back together because I wanted to become the Roger I was before the accident, right? My life changed completely, you know, in such a short period of time. And it just, you know, and and it just wasn't getting any better. So I remember sitting there one time, lying there, I I couldn't breathe and... um, I posted on my Facebook page, uh, not my Roger Lee Quotes Facebook page, but my own personal page, and I, and I said, I feel like dying. I feel like I'm going to die. I think I said I said that because uh, I literally felt like it was just my body and my breath, and everything else didn't exist. So you know that's how bad it was. You know, um, so I I remember a little bit, a couple months after that, as. You know, like I was, because I lied on that couch, like almost the whole day, right? Um, but I did tell myself that if one day, like when I started, to, when I decided that I wanted to somehow change my life, I said, if one day, if I could heal myself, if I can get out of this darkness and I could see the light, I am going to share my story, and I'm going to t- try to t- tell people that are going through the same thing as me, or or, or possibly even worse that you can, you know, do something about your life to to help you come out of this darkness and that you can actually, when you thought that it was impossible to do, that you can actually make things a possibility, right? And that was just something I was, I envisioned, you know, and and um, I didn't really think that I was going to be able to do it. 
but um, you know, I kept that in in the back of my head always. So you know, one of the things that really, really helped me, that really started me to get things going, was one day I woke up and I said, "I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to clean up my basement." You know, because I, I'm sick and tired of lying on this couch thinking about all these negative thoughts. I'm sick and tired of telling myself that I have no life and that you know that there's nothing out there in the future for me, right? Because that's all I saw was darkness. Um, and my basement was packed full of garbage, and you know, I, I, you know, two years, almost two years of just not doing anything. You know, everyone was just dumping things down into the basement, and so I went down to the basement on the first day, and I started myself in this little corner. It was hard to get to that corner too because I could barely walk down the stairs. Um, so I started off in this little corner. I started taking apart little like furniture that I didn't use anymore, and I just went through every single box and just pulled out everything that I thought I could throw away, you know. And and it really changed the way I th- I was thinking, and 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 it, and it created motivation for myself because prior to that, when I woke up in the morning, I had nothing, nothing to look forward to, right? Nothing to motivate me. I had no purpose, pretty much, right? But you know, when I decided that I wanted to clean up that basement, I finally had something to do when I woke up you know it was like I, I need to go downstairs and I need to start cleaning up that basement you know so I I, I, I gave myself my own purpose you know I, I gave myself something to actually try to accomplish and try to prove to myself that I can actually get things done right and I didn't know how long it was going to take me but I knew that if I just you know put as much effort as I possibly could on a daily basis that one day one day I can get this basement cleaned, right? Um, and this took me three weeks, three and a half weeks. So it's almost a month, right? And I, I basically like, it, it was like, th- I think I filled about 36 garbage bag fulls, right? Um, but at the end of it, you know, like before, before I started cleaning that basement, my, th- my mind, my mindset was so negative. Like everything I was thinking was just pure darkness. And, you know, it was like almost a hundred percent negative thoughts. And, um, by the end of it, I was so focused. I was like all the symptoms, all those negative thoughts, those, those things that I was thinking of that were bothering me that I, when I woke up before thinking about, you know, that I forgot about all of it because I was so focused on, getting that basement clean and getting it done and, and, and accomplishing it. So when I finally completed that, you know, that, that, that made my vision a lot more clear. You know, I started to, it was, it's a weird thing, right? And that's when I started telling myself, wow, your mind is such a powerful thing, right? You can actually do incredible things when you put your, you, when you really put your mind to it and you, and you're, and you're really determined to get things done. And after I cleaned the basement, I was like, you know what, if I was able to do that, Maybe I could start working out again. You know, maybe I can start washing the dishes again. Maybe I can go outside and start mowing the gra- mowing the lawn again, or you know, doing things that I stopped doing. You know, like singing, for example. I stopped singing. You know, and the first thing I did was, you know, what? I want to try singing again. So I went out, you know, um, and I bought myself uh, a new microphone, speakers, uh, a mixer, you know, and I started singing again. And you know, singing brought me joy and happiness before, and I brought it back into my life and. You know, it's just everything, everything after I accomplished one thing, ever, like those fears that I had, you know, every time I accomplished one fear, you know, it gave me enough courage to go ahead and start challenging the next thing. And the more that I accomplished, you know, the more confident I felt about myself, you know, and that's when I started to say, hey, you know what? You need to take care of yourself. You know, you need to start loving yourself. You got to bring all this attention to, towards your own self, that energy. You need to focus, focus all that energy. And sometimes you have to put, push things aside. Yes, because you, you need to, you want to uh, put yourself ahead of others, right? In order to get yourself back to the level where you can say, hey, you know what? I belong again. Because I definitely wasn't belonging. I, I felt like I didn't belong to any, anywhere, any, to anyone or anything, you know. Um, and I had to get myself back to the level where I can say, yeah, you know, I fit in. Um, and so I worked on myself. I focused all of my energy and and getting myself better so that I can become a better version of myself, a better version of the the Roger that that was before my accident, you know. And that is my mindset every single day, you know, just trying to become who better than who I was yesterday, always, you know, whether it's learning learning something new. Or, you know, just just trying to do something that I've never done before. Because, you know, in life and in this world, there, there are so many things that you can experience. And, and you can, you know, 
get to another level, right? You could you could bring yourself in, uh, to a higher levels. Um, and I say this um, all the time, you know, like right now you are just a fraction of who you can become, right? So, you know, I talk a lot about becoming a better version of yourself and I learned that. And this all goes back to, you know, reading quotes because reading quotes during that, my healing process, I did that every single day, four to five hours a day. I had to retrain the way I, I was thinking. I had to retrain my thoughts, you know, and one of the ma- biggest things that helped me was reading quotes and collecting them and rereading them on a daily basis so that I can, so I can basically put that into my mindset. So whenever a situation comes, I can remember that quote and say, you know what? I remember that this quote told me to do this so and so and so. And I was like, Hey, yeah, you know, this is, this actually works. And you know, that made me think, why don't I try writing quotes? You know, it helped me. And if I tried sharing my experiences, right by putting it into my quotes, then maybe I can actually keep that promise that I made to myself that I was going to try to help others out there in the world that were that are that are going through anxiety, that have depression, that have hit rock bottom and have given up. Um, and I want to be there to to give them hope, right? To give them to give them a sense that you're not alone. That you know that that uh, even though you're going through a really dark time, you can you can you can change your life, you know, just, just the way, just like how I did, you know, I never thought I was able to see myself smile again. I'd never thought that I was going to be able to spend quality uh, family time, um, again, but you know, I made all that happen because I was able to change the way I think, you know, change my mindset, strengthen my mind, strengthen my body. Right. Um, and so that's that's why I, I I started writing quotes. And when I when I first started, it was really tough um, because you know I don't know a lot of people um, that actually write quotes, um, and it was a pretty bold move to do. Um, but I I when I was reading, I I kind of fell in love with reading it. Right, so um, I decided that I I should try it because who knows, maybe it could be something that I I end up loving to do. And you know what? It, it was I found my passion, my passion is writing quotes, making motivational videos and inspiration videos to help others find their light, find their joy and happiness. You know, I wake up every single morning thinking about what I need to write, what I need to say, uh, what I need to produce content wise to help others realize that, you know, their happiness is, may not be too far away, you know, that you can achieve, um, your great, your own greatness and you can find your joy and happiness again. So, you know, when I started writing quotes, it was t- difficult to, you know, I didn't know, you know, that's when I decided, you know, maybe I should just start, um, I had to, I had to share my quotes somehow, right, to put, to put it out. So I, you know, I created a Facebook page, Roger Lee Quotes. I, I started an Instagram page. I started Twitter and I just started, you know, putting my quotes out everywhere and, and Pinterest, you know, I was just trying to get people to see it. And, uh, you know, and it was tough because not a lot of people were seeing it. And usually when you're, when you're starting out, uh, with social media, um, and you're trying to get your content out, it's, it's pretty hard. Right. So I had to really hang in there because there were days where I just, um, felt like, what, what am I doing? You know, am I, am I really, you know, using my time wisely? You know, maybe I should be doing something else, you know, and I actually stopped writing at one point. Um, cause I was kind of disappointed, you know, that, that my quotes, uh, weren't being, you know, viewed as much as I wanted to, because I really, really wanted to, um, try to, um, get to as many people as I possibly could. Right. You know, like worldwide kind of deal. Um, but I started to see my page grow, you know, I started to see the likes, likes increase. Um, but the, one of the big game changers was when COVID hit actually, um, which wasn't too long ago. Um, my page was, I think I finally hit around 2000 followers on my Facebook page and all of a sudden, you know, it was like, I, I can see thousands of likes, thousands of comments. And, you know, my, the growth of my page was just, I was so shocked. You know, I was just like, wow, is this really happening to me? Um, and, you know, uh, soon it became 10,000 and 30,000 and 80,000. And then I hit 100,000 followers. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, you know. And now, to this day, at the time of this recording, I am almost at a million followers on my Facebook page something that I'm so grateful um, and so blessed 
to be able to have this opportunity to be able to write quotes and to share my story and to you know help and inspire and motivate motivate others right so that you know I believe that everyone deserves happiness everyone deserves their own peace everyone deserves that right but it's so hard sometimes and we're going you know through life on a daily basis and there's just so much so many things that we have to deal with right whether it's work relationship financial problems you know it's not easy being human right and sometimes you just need to be reminded all right um and it might not be some like you're 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 looking for someone to come up to you and, and tell you these positive things but sometimes you can't find that person right and that's where quotes come in because i look at quotes as like a a a a a person like a different entity as as someone that you can count on to come to you and, t- and tell you these positive things so that you they can give you a, that little bit of hope so you can tell yourself hey you know what today might be a bad day but tomorrow could be an amazing day you know and the more that you read you know the more that positive information that you get into your head right the stronger your mindset is going to be the 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 clearer you're going to see uh of the future of your future how you can create your future you know a lot of us are living in our past you know we made a lot of mistakes we're like why did we do this why did we do that and stuff and that's time you're spending that time and energy focusing you're focusing too much of that time in your past right so you have an opportunity today to do to make a difference right if you can start making better choices right because every choice that you make is is going to be basically the outcome of your future right and even for today right whatever you're doing today right wherever your choices are going to affect you know the next 5 10 minutes right so you know writing quotes was definitely something i never thought i would do never thought i would do i i i i am i can tell you right now that i never thought i could write you know i i when i was in school i was like i i hated <laughs> i hated english i wasn't like the best writer but you know but my passion found me and that's why i say you know like you need to trust your journey um and we're going to all go through ups and downs you know um uh, bad chapters but we're also going to experience some good chapters as well right um and you know so i i tell myself you know when things go a little bit not the way i want it to right i just tell myself roger trust your journey you know these things are happening to you for a reason at the end of the day you're going to learn something from it right i had to go through almost 3 years of um going through anxiety and depression you know and were during that time i was you know asking myself like why why is this happening to me you know what did i do to deserve this you know i'm a good person uh, i i have no idea why my life has turned in so dark but now i realize that everything that i went through everything that i learned was that i can take this experience and i can use it not just to for myself but to help others realize that you know your your life can definitely change if you if you're willing to make it change and you believe in yourself and that you love yourself on a daily basis like you have to you 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 need to really focus and sometimes that it's really tough because you know a, you know a lot of us have a really really busy day and we just don't have we tell ourselves we don't even have 5 to 10 minutes to spare right but you can you can take that 5 to 10 minutes if you just spend 5 to 10 minutes to focus on yourself whether it's working out whether it's learning something new or it's reading or it's reading something positive just that little something to bring that little bit of peace and that peace joy and happiness into your life you know those little little things that you're doing to yourself are all going to add up you know and that's what i had to do you know i had to start all the way from the bottom so that i could, and i took those little those little steps every single day so i can reach the top of that mountain right i'm still climbing up that mountain right but i'm a lot closer to the top of the mountain than i was you know 4 or 5 years ago so i'm going to talk a little bit a lot more about my journey and um you know about the things i do um on my on my next podcasts um but i hope you did enjoy this podcast this is really really uh fun for me uh i'm really <laughs> i'm used to actually looking in front of a camera but um so i think this is probably the second time i actually just spoke i did i did a podcast thing with the facebook uh a while ago but this is my actual first podcast so i am i'm totally excited uh thank you for listening um i'm going to try to do uh, at least one of these episodes per week 
So uh, if you haven't checked out my Facebook page, you can just go to Facebook and you could do a search for Roger Lee Quotes or Instagram or YouTube. You can check out my YouTube channel. I have a lot of videos there, motivational and inspirational videos on my YouTube uh, channel. So uh, so have a great day. Uh, remember, love yourself and always, always be hopeful and, and look forward to those brighter days. And, you know... One, my motto is, you know, your mind matters. So think about these things. Think about these positive things. And I will catch you next podcast. Take care. Bye-bye.